Hi guys, I'm Yair from Rain the Dog and today I want to share with you a quick insight about how to search an element in a list and how to find it, especially inside that it's hard to find the elements. So I bumped into this uh, demo website and let's say that we want to write a generic method uh, that will help us click on any of these uh, menu items. So let's try and investigate it. I'll start in inspect. Uh, you can see here that I have the class equals solutions and it's only because it's selected. Probably if I'll select about us. So as you can see here in under the left menu here, uh, I have only these li tags and that's it. They have no class beside the first one. They have no other locator that I can use. So what can I do in this case? looks a bit uh, unsolvable but I'll show you a small trick that you can do and uh, then you will be able to click on any of those so let's head to uh, IntelliJ we'll start by navigating to this uh, website so we'll say driver by get and this is the website and uh, let's start with creating a list of a web element to import this one we'll call it um, we'll call it nav menu elements and we'll say driver find elements and how can we find these elements so it has a tag of HTML the li let's say we want to find it by tag name li and that's it now we can iterate this specific uh, list web element element in nav menu element we could say that we'll have the text element text and we'll get the element dot get text let's say that we want to click on the admin page so string text to click on is the admin page yeah. yeah this one and we can say if if the element text equals the text to click on we'll do element dot click and that's it uh, I, I won't break this loop uh, for now I, I want to show you something else but just let's run this one to see if it's working and then we'll do something even better and yeah I found 32 elements so the first one is the element text the solutions now the element text is about us now the element text is services now the element text is products now the element text is locations and now the element text is admin page so let's look at this one let's see if it does click on the admin page okay it did click on this one the admin page that's the admin page and probably because I need to break out of the loop it will get an error in the end so it it needs to break out of the loop so instead of just uh, saying break here we want to uh, reuse this method so let's create another class we'll call it selenium wrapper okay let's say that we want to pass in the constructor the web driver driver and we'll say that uh, this uh, I need to have a member here but driver driver and this driver equals driver okay now let, let's take this loop we'll copy this one to here and we'll say public web element we'll call it get 
element in list now we need to supply the element text oh i already used this one so we'll call it required element text okay and also we need to provide the element locator so we'll do the by element locator and instead of this tag name we'll use the element locator which will be provided from the test now we're looking for the required element text and let's return by the way the element and in case we didn't uh, succeed we'll return a null value okay we can also uh, print to a log that we haven't found this one and etc let's create the selenium wrapper object so new selenium wrapper we'll pass the driver now let's go to selenium wrapper dot get elements in list we'll say text to click on and we'll uh, also we need to provide the locator which is the by tag name and it will be the li html now we'll put it inside the nav menu element and we could say that if the nav menu element is not null we'll nav menu and click okay of course we need to put it in the test and everything just let's find out if, if it's working okay as you can see it did work and we don't get any exception now it's working properly so what do you say about uh, if we're on the main page which apparently i can go back maybe here okay um can we use the same method to click let's say on the make deposits let's click on this one okay so those links uh, lead lead us to uh, like xml but it doesn't really matter let's investigate this one i think it's an li as well but if not we can use a different approach yeah as you can see here it's also the same tag name so we don't need to change anything we just need to change the the one that we want to click on so we'll do make deposit deposits yeah and as you can see i didn't change anything and voila you can see that uh, I, I just click on, on this element without needing any locator and anything but the sharp eye probably have noticed that we have a problem here we have uh, two lists with the same uh, title this one is the transfer funds maybe by the way maybe it leads to the same place I'm not sure about it but it's from a different list so let's assume that those two does, doesn't lead to the same place so what can we do about it we have another trick up in our sleeve so let's investigate this one so the um, we just have the li here and we have the li here how can we tell by the way that we are clicking on this one so those are the same but if we look at the container the one that contains all those items you can see that this one's called services 2 and this one is called services by the way this one if we want to click on one here this one calls captions 3 let's modify our method for a bit so the get element in list this one will be the same but we'll create another method we'll do overloading let's uh, say web element get element in list now we can say this will all stay the same uh, we'll deal with this one in a bit the only thing here i want to add is the by element parent let's call this one element parent locator so if the element parent locator is not null we can say that the uh, parent element equals driver find element 
by the parent locator we just need to declare this one by the way let's start by saying that this one is null this is find element not elements yes we need to ask another question so let's declare this one and we can say if parent element is not null we could say that the nav menu items they equals the parent element the one that is containing all the other elements and then we'll do find elements by the element locator so now we're going to find all the elements that under the set this specific parent element otherwise it will behave as it behaved before and else we could say that the nav menu elements are the same and the, the for each loop uh, just stays the same by the way now we need to deal with this one so we can say that we, this one will return the get element in list uh, with the required element and the element locator and null in this case we don't have a parent this method will work either way this one will work as it worked before but now we can even use it in a better way so let's go back here in order to click the transfer funds under ATM services I first need to identify the parent in this case the parent of the whole container is called services now I can add by class name and I have the services I want to click on the transfer funds let's check it out so I'll put a breakpoint here and we'll run this one okay so we'll find the uh, element parent we'll find the elements and let's see how many elements we have oh we currently have zero elements and why is that so there is more than one uh, class name in this case and i think we should use probably uh, css selectors so this one has the class services just let's make sure how many services do we have and we have oh we have 17 but the class services appears here and yeah i don't think it appears more than that okay so uh, we, we could say that this services is unique if you are having the combined the ul the this tag and the services so let's try and change the uh, element locator that we have so instead of saying by class name we can say by css selectors and we can say li dot services uh, the ul dot services sorry and let's try this one okay so now we have five elements let's make sure about that uh, so we have one two three four who is the fifth one i have no idea let's check this one out so now the element text the atm okay so it, it did count the atm services as one of the element it doesn't really matter and the next one should be the withdraw funds then we would have the transfer funds by the way that's the one we are looking for and now it will return the element now we have this element the, the transfer funds we would be able to click on it and as you can see it did click on it let's try to find out what will happen if we want to transfer this one now we have 32 elements so it will take much more time to iter iterate all over and we might have a false positive because let's say we want to uh, click on the transfer funds um, so in this case uh, it won't work in, under online services so um, as, as i said before uh, we need to if we want to click on the other one sorry so here it has the services to class by the way maybe this one is enough yeah yeah we have only one so in this case we don't even need the css selector so if i want to click on the other one by the way so let's go back and we'll go back to this one and we need to transfer this uh, by class name and we'll have the services too so let's check this one out now we have four elements and the first one will be the online services which is this one and then it will be the bill pay and the 
third one will be the account history and the last one will be the transfer funds which we are looking for yeah and again we found the element and we'll click on it okay so just to make sure that uh, we are on the same page uh, let's uh, try another website and i want to navigate in this menu okay so let's try to see if we are able to apply the same logic to another website so in this case as you can see there is this li but all of them has the same class name so what should we do about it i think it's very easy uh, let's copy this uh, website uh, uh, url instead of this we'll put this one so let's copy this class name now we we don't we don't need the parent in this case and we can say by class name and it will be called nav menu links we don't need this one yeah now now it's uh, being called nav menu links and let's say that we want to click on popular items let's click on popular items okay let's run this one by the way we should wait for this spinner to vanish if you don't know how to do it please check out our video about how to wait for element to vanish and we um now uh, stopped here how many items are, are we having we have four items great one two three four and let's look at the first one the element text will be contact as us and the other one would be popular items is this the one yeah that's the one so we got this one now we're going to click it and voila it works so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the like button also consider subscribing to give us support so we will be able to produce more videos like this in the future thank you all for watching and bye for now